Okay, I'm Janice Gray. I use she, her pronouns. Nearly 130 years ago, about 40 families living in Amherst and nearby towns decided to form a special community. Calling themselves universalists, they met in rented spaces to find ways to enrich their world and those of their children and encourage the love of life and their own search for truth and meaning. In 1892, they started to build a meeting house for Sunday services, religious education, board games, music, <laughs> potluck suppers, and other fun events on the corner of North Pleasant Street and Kellogg <laughs> Avenue, right here. Its doors opened in 1893. Then another group of families in town, the Unitarians, began sending their children to the Universalist Sunday School. They didn't have their own building or minister, but they knew they shared many values with their Universalist neighbors. A few years later, the two groups of families made it official. They chose to share this building together as Unity Church. In 1919, someone bought a plain blank book and put our name on it um, and wrote the names of all the adults, all, all the adult members of Unity Church inside. As new people joined Unity Church, they added their names or signatures, what Andrew was talking about, their names themselves. This membership book is now 105 years old. If you look through its pages, and I'm going to give Libby time to do this, you'll see that some changes, some changes that our early members could not have imagined. After a while, someone must have suggested adding your home address to your signature so we'd know where to find each other in a growing town. As more homes got this newfangled thing called a telephone, phone numbers began to appear. Then, maybe 30 years ago, email addresses. <laughs> and now, cell phone numbers. There are so many signatures in here. But every name in this old, battered book belonged to someone who said, for this time in my life, I choose to belong to this community. I want to be part of its energy and its vision. Today, as our newest members add their names, I hope you will imagine the generations who signed this book before them filling this room, smiling, clapping, and calling out, welcome home. Today's an opportunity for anyone who has been thinking about joining the membership of our society to sign the membership book and become an official member. And I, I am so excited that we're doing this in the service because the kids have an important role. If you choose to undertake it, I would like you to give our new members a high five after they sign the book. Okay. So with that, with that, being said, uh, I'd like to invite anyone up who is excited to sign our book today. Come on forward. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Welcome, Matt. Thank you. Welcome, Emily. Thank you. Here are our high fibers. <laughs>
to see so many exciting people in the line to sign the book. If we ran out of folders on you, Ministry of Welcome and Membership will get you one. Um, and the most important part, I think, is that we have a round of applause for all of this excitement about our congregation.